44 Miss Holly. Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Good morning, how are you doing? Good. Okay. To get started, I have a few questions to ask. What Star Wars characters are you dressed up as? Well, I think you can see if you've seen any Star Wars trilogy or any Star Wars movies, I'm dressed up as a stormtrooper. And a stormtrooper is a soldier who fights for the Empire. So I am actually fighting for my empire. My empire is education. And I think it's important that every educator, whether it be an administrator, a teacher, any staff member, fights for education for every student because that's the way to enable our nation to be the greatest nation it can be. What Star Wars what activities did you facilitate during Star Wars Days in the Summer STEM program? Well in the Summer STEM program, I was part of a very interesting uh, activity. It was virtual reality. And virtual reality is becoming more and more prominent in everything we do, from medicine to the social sciences. So when you put on a, per a pair of virtual reality goggles, you get a chance to see things in a whole new perspective. And uh, virtual reality is going to become prominent in many, many things we do in the future. So virtual reality, I was very happy to be part of that. I actually have a pair of my own virtual reality goggles, and I enjoy using them in uh, many instances to view things throughout the country that I might not otherwise have an opportunity to visit. Why is it important for students to learn computer science? Well, having been a former teacher of computer science, it's critically important, especially what we do today. We need computer scientists, computer engineers, and if students understand how to do programming successfully, they can actually create their own apps. Everything you have on your phone is an application. It's actually a program. It's a form of computer science. So when someone picks up their phone and presses an app, you're actually accessing a program that someone developed. Thank you, and it has been an honor to be here with you. Well, it's a pleasure to be interviewed by you. Thanks so much. Continue your education and keep up the good work. I will. Okay. Good morning, WILZ TV. I'm Leah Jordan from Room 43, and I am going to be interviewing Mr. Polidora. So, what activity did you facilitate during Star Wars Day in the summer STEAM program? In the summer STEAM program, I facilitated dancing Ublik, and we basically showed the kids how force was working on solids and liquids. If you had time to do an hour of code right now, which topic would you pick and why? The choices are coding in sports, coding with Anna and Elsa, programming in Python with Tracy the Turtle, or Star Wars building a galaxy with code. I would definitely pick Star Wars. I love Star Wars and I've played the game on Hour of Code and it's really, really fun. I think the kids would enjoy it also. Thank you. It has been a pleasure for interviewing you. Why, thank you, Leah. Hello, I'm Justin Martinez from Room 43, and today I will be telling you, uh, talking to you about the most, one of the most important parts of a computer. One of the most important parts of a computer is the CPU, often known as the central process. The CPU handles information related to path memory and will electronically switch wires to direct the memory where it needs to go. This is similar how, to how the human brain works. Amazing! Hello, my name is Ryan Sutton from Room 43. Today I'll be talking about RAM. RAM is the memory of a computer. If you are browsing the internet, you are loading the program onto RAM. RAM allows the program to communicate with the CPU. The more RAM you have, the faster you can run that program. Hello. Uh, hello, my name is Jesus Valdez from Room 43. And I'll be talking to you about a hard drive. Any computer needs memory and storage. But some people are confused with memory and storage. Memory is actually RAM. Storage is a hard drive. If you try to run the program Minecraft, you will need RAM. If you try to save your world, you would need a hard drive. 
Hello, my name is Suri Mali and I'm from Room 43. And today I'm going to talk to you about what type of computer you should buy, a computer or a tablet. Today a tablet can handle almost everything a computer can do. You would want a high power CPU and more memory, in addition, hard drive. A hard drive is like your closet. You can put all your clothes in it and when it gets too full, you can rearrange it. So always clean your hard drive. Thanks for watching! <laughs>